In a long list of anime, there was one show I almost missed and that was Cyberpunk Edgerunners. You see, when I heard Cyberpunk had an anime, I was like that's gonna be shit. The game was shit, so the show's gonna be shit. Oh boy, oh boy was I wrong. They can't make a game but god damn they can make a show. Going into this anime, I had no clue what this was about other than this one cursed image. Me when I realise I'm always going to be alone and never happy. Anyway, enough about my life. I'm going to be watching every single episode of Cyberpunk Edgerunners and showing you the best memes and moments that make my eyes roll up and my tongue stick out. So now, let's begin our journey into the future. So it starts off guns blazing. Bro is just killing everyone. Someone must have told him that Makima isn't the best waifu. Then my guy just taps into the speed force like he's Barry Allen and just starts putting bullets in each police officer's head. Then some goons pull up and oh my god they're using Itadori's secret technique. Jump a nigga. So we cut to our protagonist and oh my god we are not 4 minutes into the show yet I'm seeing mummy milkers on my screen. Uncensored. The hell? Why is my man running like that? So our boy David makes it to school and he's too broke to buy the VR headset he needs so he makes his own one and it fucks up the system. The principal was gonna expel him but his mum begged because this is his only chance at success. So his mum's like yo I know those people are rich snobby assholes but please stay in school for me David. And while she's giving her pep talk some niggas just start shooting through their window. Things start to get chaotic like a discord mod convention. So they end up crashing their car. David wakes up and he starts freaking out but then the ambulance appears and he thinks he's saved. Then the ambulance staff is like yo, these niggas broke, fuck these niggas and then they just leave. So David's at the hospital and his mum's in a coma but her condition is improving so he goes home and he finds his military grade tech. So even if his mum in that condition, David still goes to school because his mum would have wanted it. And when he gets there, some guy just starts ruthlessly bullying him, he's like yo your mum's a little dirty slut, how the fuck did she get the money to bring you up in here? I'd prefer if you dropped out because I don't like brokies being in this school. So the bully turns on his martial arts tech and he just starts beating the fuck out of David, I've never seen an ass whipping like this and I have African parents. So after that supreme beating, he goes to the hospital and it turns out his mum's dead and he doesn't have the money to throw a funeral so they just burn the bitch. So if life getting super tense and getting a stretch for us watching a My Hero Academia fan do those cringe dances, he decides to put the fucking military gear inside of him. The doc's like yo you can't have that military gear, putting that inside of you is going to kill you, you don't have the brains or the muscle for that shit. And David's like oh wow, hmm, I don't remember asking. Then the doc's like when you come back screaming in agonizing pain, I want you to know that I told you so. They start the procedure and oh my god that looks so painful, almost as painful as that one time I watched 60 episodes of Naruto. I was just waiting for it to get good, it never did. So David's first stop with his new upgrade is the bully from before and Jesus Christ that. The punch he hit him with, he hit him with the My Hero Academia Deku plus Ultra fucking 100% punch bro. After that doom fist level punch, he ends up going back home on the train and some girl is stealing gear from people but she tries to steal from him but he's like nah nigga. So because they're both broke they end up working together and trying to steal everything more efficiently. But all of that speeding around has got David fucked up. So bro is on his way to the hospital but the paramedic realises he has military gear on him so she wants to steal it. And damn I have not seen crazy in a long time in anime but she is pushing the boundaries. So they end up going back to her place and they go on a date in VR. But mid date some niggas pull up and they're like yo you stole my military grade shit and she double crossed him. So it turns out his deceased mom used to work for them so they end up giving him a chance to become a new cyberpunk to join their crew. David's on his first job trying to prove himself, they're trying to steal some data from some guy's car but the guy ends up leaving the pub early so they need a distraction and what the hell, where is her hands? If that's a distraction then I need to be distracted 24 fucking 7. But he still makes it to his car in time and these guys are just still in there so their only option is to drive away. David's like yo I have no idea how to drive and the nigga's like it's time to learn. How does he crash into both beams? I think that takes more skill than driving. So they think they escape but some bounty hunter comes after them. So they start hard fighting but David's about to die but main pulls up and hits him the one shot. So everyone starts celebrating because of their last job. And deadass the guy from Breaking Bad Gus Fring pulls up. Like I'm not even joking he's the voice actor for this guy it's so weird. 
And the goth guy's like, what the hell? I told you to sneakily steal the data, not steal the entire car, you dumbass. If you mess up again, there will be consequences. And he just leaves. The principal calls David and he's like, I know you got expelled for punching that guy, but we would like to re-enroll you back into the school. And David's like, you know what? Fuck school. So now David's actually in the crew, just like I'm inside of your mother. He ends up going to Rebecca's house and look how she opens the door. Most sane Ohio resident. So David and the gang start doing jobs together all week, stealing, shooting niggas, and training so he can handle his military gear. So David is finally starting to feel a part of the crew, finally starting to feel at home since his mother died. But on their way home, they meet this guy and he's pissing on their land. So Longarm starts talking to him and he's like, yo, nigga, please leave. What the hell? Stop pissing in that barrel. Are you like stupid or something? But then his brains get splattered. It turns out this guy's also a cyber psycho, just like the first guy we saw in the first episode. David is using his super speed, but he's frozen up because his friend just fucking died. So Main comes in clutch and saves him. And Rebecca loses it as well, because that was her brother. But before things get worse, David speeds up to him, and now he has to make a choice. His old life and his mother's teachings, or his new life. And he chooses his new life. So David and Lucy get to talking, and David forgives her for her betrayal, and they end up sharing a kiss. God, I wish that was me. They're on a new job to try and kidnap someone for their later plan, but he knows he's being kidnapped, so he just knocks them both out, and then kidnaps David. What a fucking menace. Imagine people trying to kidnap you, and you end up leaving with one of them instead. So the guy just starts torturing David like it's a normal thing to do, but then the guys pull up, so he has no choice but to surrender. So they force him to talk to the real target, Tanaka, so they can ambush him. But Tanaka's not having it. He fakes the renders and then just starts beating Main's ass. Like, damn, the combos. But Main does a side tower, one punch. So they quickly kidnap Tanaka and leave. Main is starting to lose his mind because of all of the gear he has. Cyberpsychosis is coming in. He blacks out and knocks the jaw off of Kiwi. And then he returns and he's like, yo, what happened? Why is that bitch knocked out on the floor? So it cuts to David and he is hitting that, respectfully of course. So David and Lucy get told of main cyber psychosis and David goes after him. And May is like, yo what? You think you're a big man because you can go fast? You're a little bitch nigga. I ain't scared of shit. I ain't going insane. And he just gives him the biggest bitch that I've ever seen in my life. So Lucy has to do the hack, but she's scared of hacking because of her past. So David is supposed to guard Tanaka while the hack into his mind goes through, but Tanaka wakes up and he's like, Yo, I can give you money, bitches, a penthouse, and more. Just let me go. And Loki, because David has had nothing his entire life, he's actually considering it. But by having Tanaka awake and Lucy deep diving inside of his mind, it starts to fuck shit up. So Main comes in and he's like, What the hell? You could kill her. But luckily Lucy survives and oh my god, how are you going to get bitch slapped twice in an episode? So the police and the government start pulling up on Maine. And David wants to go and save Maine but Lucy's like, no, nah, you're going to die, nigga. Please. But he dips anyway. Meanwhile, because of all of the stress, Maine is completely fucking losing it. He's just killing and killing and he accidentally kills his own girlfriend. And that completely pushes him off of the edge. Cyber psychosis is almost 100%. David comes up to him and Main still recognizes David. David's like, I'm never gonna leave you no matter what, we'll deal with this together. But the special unit that was made to take out people with cyberpsychosis starts closing in on them. But with Main's last remaining sanity, he breaks David's gun and he's like, I know you're fast, that's all you got, now run nigga, run. Lucy starts panicking because she thinks David is dead, but he returns to the car and he has Main's hand. Then the infamous meme image shows up. I literally can't take this seriously. All of that death and murder. And I can't stop laughing at this nigga's face. So some time passes and the new leader of the crew is David. He's super buff now and he's upgraded the fuck up. Just look at this man. This unit killed that guy. David ends up meeting with Gus and Gus is like, yo, I used to have a contract with Maine, but now Maine is six feet under, so how about we have a contract with me and you? And David agrees to take the jobs because it gives him money. So we find out the reason why Lucy is so scared of hacking and is so fucked up is because she was raised in a government lab and forced to hack all day until one day she finally escaped. 
So David's on a job and he's starting to get cyber psychosis. He shoots an innocent woman. Pew! Me when I hear Dragon Ball Z hey, fans say Goku solos for the millionth time. So Gus is starting to work with the people that trapped Lucy as a kid. I'm a sucker. David and Rebecca are on another job. And oh my god I love Rebecca's vibe. David starts spacing out in the middle of the battle. Just like me when I'm watching One Piece and they take 5 minute breaks between punches. But luckily Rebecca's there and she starts shooting this bitch and the bitch is spinning. So disrespectful, the first shot killed her. David can't stop thinking about the innocent woman he killed. He ends up collapsing because of how stressful it is. So the doc's like you dopey dumbass dunce, I told you to stop getting gear you little imbecile. But David's addicted to the gear slash chrome, he can't stop. David starts going psycho again and he grabs Doc off of his feet. And the Doc's like if you take these pills then you're gonna go off the edge, you're gonna go insane. Lucy's like you need to stop with this gear shit bro, you're gonna die. David keeps telling himself that he's special because he could handle that military gear tech when he was a child. Lucy goes off on her own little job and she gets ambushed by Kiwi. Kiwi betrayed the gang. So Gus and Arasaka want to test David's capabilities. So Gus sends David and the gang on an impossible mission. And it's an absolute bloodbath. David and everyone is just killing and killing and killing. And guess what? More killing. Then they send in an army, the big guns. But Gus left an upgraded suit to see if David could handle it. Either David goes in the suit and goes insane, or they die to the army of mercenaries. David chooses to jack up on the suit and Rebecca is begging him not to. And Kiwi's up to her devious ways again, betraying the gang yet again. David looks up into the suit and he still hasn't gone full psycho. David is just a metalhead drugged up goon who just won't stop killing now. He's going down the same path Maine did. So with the last of David's sanity, he's going after Lucy to try and save her from Gus. Get the drugs Jesse, Jesse, drugs. Talking about drugs, the drugs that David has been taking have stopped working. Bro is absolutely losing his mind. He's hallucinating worse than a bleach fan that says that it's going to be the best in the big three once it returns. QV ends up meeting Gus for her payment and he betrays her. Things aren't going to plan for Arasaka. David was supposed to be insane by now so they have to send somebody in to stop him. And then they send in Adam Smasher. What the hell why does my guy have a porn star name? So Kiwi survived the shot and with her last dying breath of her lying little shit mouth she decides to do the good thing. She tells David where Gus and Lucy is. All my homies hate Kiwi. So Gus pulls up to Arasaka headquarters and he's like okay I've got Lucy so you're gonna let me join your group and give me the money that I deserve yeah? And bro's like are you stupid? Are you mentally subservient? You led David on a rampage and now he's coming here. And while they're talking David just comes into the room and just says Lucy. Look at the fear on these guys eyes. Good idea giving him the suit you fucking idiots. So David sticks to his roots of killing people, but then Adam Smasher thought I can't, why is his name that? And David finally gets to get back on Gus Ring. But without any drugs, he starts going psycho again, and this time it's worse than ever. But the true drug is love, because for some reason, her kiss wakes him up from psychosis. Ignoring that cringe moment, Gus is falling from a skyscraper. I don't think he'll be in season 2 if there is any. Rebecca and Lucy are talking and then Adam Smasher just drops in decimating the ground and I'm sad to say Rebecca is dead bro she was the most enjoyable character I've seen in a long time I'm not even gonna make any jokes RIP Rebecca so anyway the way Lucy's got that shit arched bro it's gonna make me act up so David's pissed because Rebecca's been taken from him he's like damn nigga aren't I the one you're after why are you killing everyone else Adam smashes the menace, he's like you're all meat to me, I'll slaughter every single one of you. Cowboy dude grabs Lucy and they just start jetting off in the car. I swear to god I didn't know Adam Smasher would be so disrespectful. He starts beating the shit out of him, ripping his arms off and all the while roasting him. He's like damn nigga you thought you were special? This is what special looks like. This is what perfection looks like. Don't make me laugh. So Lucy's like please go back save my senpai. And his obvious answer is no, I don't want to die. Then David just starts laughing and the Smasher's like, maybe you would prove an interesting specimen. But David's like, no, I reject that idea. Fuck you, pussy. And then Smasher aims the gun at his head and then...
All of this death and destruction just so Lucy can go to the fucking moon. David did all of that so they would have the money to visit the moon. Not gonna lie, kind of a meh ending. Everyone died including Rebecca just so the inferior girl could live. Hashtag Rebecca's best girl. So that was Cyberpunk Edge Runners. That was extremely depressing. I thought it would have a happier ending but no. I'm gonna go cry in my sheets. Which is normal for me. I always cry in my sheets. Anyway, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this because I will keep spitting it out like I am a conveyor belt. I don't know what that means, but yeah, see ya.